good is the Harley Davidson Sport Glide headlight in the dark. In fact, how good is the headlight on all the soft tail models? Catch you inside. Revelator L. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. Hope you're enjoying the channel and the series of videos. Please like, share, subscribe, leave loads of comments below. We check out the website revelatoralpha.com. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about yeah, the headlight. And is it any good uh, in the dark when you need it most? Well, as you can see, mine is uh, now covered in road crud because the roads are wet. I've been riding out here. Um, so one of the things, no matter how good your headlight is, obviously you need to make sure it's clean. If it's all covered in crud, not much light is going to get through. And that's not really going to shine up the road uh, very well. So make sure it's clean. That's a good thing. But also, I've been very impressed with this headlight in general. Now, in previous uh, bikes, uh, especially Harleys and things like that, I was never really that impressed with them. In fact, there was a, you know, a tendency for a lot of custom bike builders to go for the really small lines. Actually, in my eyes, I want a big old unit there. Uh, I want a, a big old unit that's uh, sending out loads of lux and it's, uh, it's going to shine up that road. Now, one of the a previous bike that I had uh, it was a ZZR 1400, it was a Kawasaki, and that lit up the road, you would not believe. It was virtually like riding in daylight. And these lights, although they're small in comparison, there's only a single light, it has a very similar effect. The last bike I had was a Triumph Explorer, so you see you watch my other previous videos. Actually, at night, I had to have sort of fog lights on uh, just to light up the road a little bit more. It was okay, but it wasn't fantastic. Whereas with this, don't really need it at all. Personally, I think it's a good light. I think it's, um, you know, it's, it's one of those lights that you think, oh, yeah, it's a Harley Davidson. Nah, it's not a good at all. But actually, it's a very good light. It really shines up the road. It's a fixed light, it's a fixed position. So obviously you still got the issues when you're banking the bike over when you're going round bends that kind of thing if you've got undulations in the road it doesn't pick up those sort of dips a little bit and you can check out my other videos when i've talked about that as well but in general terms it really lights up the road especially when you've got it on full beam on main beam that's when it comes into its own when it's on low beam yeah i, I would i would say it's like a normal standard light but as soon as you put it onto main beam it lights up the road fantastically well. So I've got to say, I've been really impressed with it. And uh, well, here's some evidence. Right, so here we are, uh, just riding at night. It's actually two o'clock in the morning, would you believe? Uh, on some very quiet roads. Now, just a standard LED light on here. Uh, so, what well, you see, it's on, on the low beam. As you go into the corner, it's got quite adequate light. But as soon as you go up to high beam, main beam, then that's when it sort of lights up the road and it really does make a big difference. So off main beam, quite adequate, but on main beam, that's where it comes into its own. Now, okay, with the LED headlight, of course, this is not the day maker. Okay, this is just your standard LED light. Now you can't take an LED bulb with you you basically have to replace the whole unit and that's how they come really they're kind of sealed units I suppose um, but you can replace uh, the uh, standard LED unit for different types of course and they can have different ratings to give you a, a brighter a brighter light you know and they're, they're rated in lumens uh, or Lux, well, Lux is something different, but it's uh, essentially how much light is available with the other ambient light. And then Lumens is how bright uh, something is shining onto a surface, I believe. Anyway, uh, so you can have uh, brighter lights. You could also have uh, LED adaptive LEDs. Now, basically what that is, is any time you enter into a bend, into a corner, then you'll have extra LEDs that will light up on one side that you're turning into and it will light up more of the road so you don't get that kind of black spot so that as you can see even with the standard light on main beam it's a good vision out there it really is good and this is much better than 
bulbs in my opinion these LEDs much much better much brighter and a wider coverage as well so yes top top draw from me I would say top marks so there you go what do you think what do you think of this headlight if you've got a soft tail what do you think of this headlight uh, and also the new generation of uh, Harley headlights have come out if you've got a Tora and you've got some uh, you know your headlights what do you think are you using LEDs or bulb lights which is the best in your eyes and would you upgrade would you upgrade your headlight for something else and what would you upgrade it to let me know what you think. Please leave loads of comments below. Like, share, subscribe. Check out the website, revelatoralf.com. Well, I'll catch you again. Ta-da now. Revelator Alf.